Hi, I'm Brittany County Systems, and today we're going to be pressing a poly sub mug. And I have two different sizes. You have your standard poly sub mug, or you can do a travel coffee mug. And what's so unique about the poly sub is that it's a lightweight, durable item. You can put it in the dishwasher. The sublimation will stay on there. It's scratch resistant, and it's a USA product. It's just a nice little lightweight, durable, especially if you have kids or something like that, any kind of traveling. It's nice to have a heavy-duty cup that's light. Also, today what's so special about this video is that we're going to be doing it with a convection oven. You can do it in a press. We have the mug press um, available as well, and you'll want to watch that video. But with the convection oven, even if you don't have a sublimation press, you can still do a lot of sublimation items. And what we'll be doing today is the wrap and show you how you can purchase a convection oven yourself and kind of start the whole sublimation process by yourself. So I brought with me a wrap. We have the convection oven. It's heating right now. I have a couple sheets of protective paper, the image we're going to display, and another thing too with mugs in particular is that we have the mug paper, Connie mug paper, makes it very easy to purchase an oven, get some poly sub mugs, you'll get this insert, which I'll go over in a second, and some mug paper and it's a very quick process. The inserts themselves, they're aluminum and they're designed so that when we add the heat, it's going to keep a nice shape on our poly sub mugs. And we have the two different sizes available for each of the travel mug and the standard coffee size. I have some heat gloves and some heat tape. And what we're going to do first is prepare our mug for our oven. First thing you want to do when you prepare your travel mug is to remove the lid. And then what we're going to do is align our image. Like I said, the mug paper makes it even easier, but you can easily trim a transfer you would like. What we're going to try to do is make sure that we line it up as best as we can with our handles. We're going to use this little blank space here to put our heat tape. Make sure that you're, because there's a little bit of a beveled edge, it's kind of rounded. You want to make sure that you have your image on the flat side of the mug as best as possible. And with a little bit of heat tape, what we're going to do next is grab our oven wrap. And what the protective paper is going to do, it's going to be, we trimmed it down to almost the exact size of the oven wrap. It's just a little bit over. However much paper you use is fine, as long as what we're trying to do mostly is just cover any bit that the wrap itself is going to touch the cup. That's all we're trying to avoid. So if you have any kind of scrap, put your paper around recommend that you do so. And with these mugs themselves, we're going to line up our oven wrap, keep it center. And with polysub being a little bit of a softer material, we're going to do about finger tight with the wrap itself. We do You can use a tool if you would like to, but right now I'm just twisting the bolt to get it nice and tight on our mug, but I'm not going to use a tool today. Our last step is grabbing our aluminum insert. We're going to place it with the bevel side down first. And this is going to help us hold the shape of the poly sub mug while it's in the oven. The oven itself, any kind of toaster oven, convection oven, will be available to do sublimation. You'll want to make sure that you don't use it as your kitchen oven, however, and keep it strictly for just sublimation. We do recommend that you get some kind of um, temperature gauge to put inside the oven. Sometimes we'll find that the temperature inside the oven is actually different than what it will be set on the outside of the oven. So you want to make sure that you have a double check process on that. And we have two of them in there, kept one out here. And we'll have the same setup with the, as far as time and temperature and pressure, the pressure is actually on the oven wrap itself. But this is just another tool that you can use if you do not have a sublimation press. And now that we're ready to place our mug in the oven, I'm going to make sure that I keep my handle away from any direct heat. I'll place the mug itself in the oven, and we're going to set our timer. Twelve minutes later, we'll have our new sublimated mug. And in the meantime, I'm going to go fill a bucket of water, and I'll show you how we can do that to do a quick cool down on that aluminum insert. And that sound means we're done, so we're going to Remove our travel mug with our insert. Close up our oven. 
I have my bucket of water. I'm just gonna quickly remove my insert. Let that cool in the water. The bolt itself, even though we did finger tight, you can do a drill also, it makes it easier. Any kind of socket wrench will work. You just really wanna loosen the oven wrap. And we'll remove our transfer as well. Trying to work quickly. And then also with the water itself, when we put our poly sub travel mug in the water, it's going to stop that sublimation process. So once I have all of my transfer removed, we're gonna let it cool down in the water. This is gonna stop our sublimation process and it's going to let us be able to complete our mug itself. We just finished with our travel mug and you can tell how well it turned out. PolySub itself is a lightweight, durable item it's made in the USA and you can even throw it in your dishwasher. Today, we pressed our PolySub travel mug using a convection oven. Now this oven itself, you can purchase at a local store. Very easy to use. Keep it separate from your cooking and your sublimation. Keep those separated. It's one of the reasons why we like the oven as much as we do is just because even if you do not have a press, you can still sublimate. And that is the key with our oven wraps and our different inserts. We customize to the items like the PolySub mug and you can be sublimating in no time. Even if you have a press, this is a great alternative method for you to offer more customers more products. And our, our oven wrap was very easy to use. Mug paper makes it even easier because you can print exactly to the size of your mug and you'll be sublimating in no time. For all of our tips, products, and services, be sure to check out our website at condi.com and watch more of my videos at condi.tv.com. I'm Radio Cutty Systems and thank you for joining us.